This is the all new Linux Mint 20.3. The final version of Linux Mint 20 lineup is out with major improvements, impressive new features and one of the best desktop Linux experiences yet. I installed Linux Mint 20.3 immediately after release and this version brings a new and even more attractive Cinnamon desktop, a more powerful Linux kernel and many improvements throughout the system. Every new release of Linux Mint is a big deal and this version is the culmination of Linux Mint 20 series. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Let's jump right in and see what's new, what's improved and in this video, we'll also try to explore where exactly Linux Mint stands in 2022. Let's start off with the user interface. Linux Mint features the Cinnamon desktop environment and now we jump to version 5.2. Undoubtedly the biggest reason for Linux Mint's grand success, this desktop now comes with many visual and functional improvements. Cinnamon desktop to start off is both simple to use and elegant. This sleek panel at the bottom houses all the controls. The menu here is fast, organized and has a powerful search. It's easy to navigate through the applications list as everything here is arranged categorically. This is particularly helpful for new Linux users who might not know the names of applications. Since they can browse the applications category-wise, they can explore this system at their own pace without being intimidated. Moving on to this panel, you can quickly access your favorite applications from the favorites here. The calendar applet is the star of Cinnamon 5.2. This is new. Now you can connect this calendar here to your Google and other online calendars and they sync with this here. They are also nicely color coded so your calendars from multiple accounts like personal and business are kept separate. In the looks department, the theme has been touched up for the better. We get slightly bigger title bars and these window control buttons. While I always liked the slimmer title bars in the older mints, I now feel this looks slightly better and the controls are definitely way more accessible now. The accent color usage in the theme is reworked slightly. Now the accent color as well as the dark grey colors are used sparingly. While doing this makes the applications look less colorful, it has also made the applications here look more pleasant to the eye, more professional looking and less intrusive for focus. I like aesthetic minimalism in user interfaces to a certain degree so this is cool. There's also a new dark mode that certain Linux Mint apps like the terminal, the video player and the TV app use by default. Also, now the TV app gets a search function so you can easily find TV channels, movies and series. Out of the box, Linux Mint 20.3 looks gorgeous. This already beautiful desktop looks more polished and elegant now. I really love Cinnamon desktop because it hits the sweet spot between looking good and being highly productivity oriented. This bottom panel based workflow with this simple menu and quick switching between applications is really great if you want to get some work done. Overall, Cinnamon Desktop is very mature and easy to use, especially for Linux newcomers. It looks good, but not too glittery and if you ask me personally, this is one of the best desktop interfaces for 2022. With Linux Mint, we get a very snappy experience. All the default applications like the Nemo File Manager, Celluloid Video Player are built for performance. Cinnamon desktop, while being very good on the eye, is still lighter on resource usage. Because of very less animations and effects in the desktop, very less resources are used, especially the CPU. This results in a visibly better responsiveness in moderately powered computers. Linux Mint is especially great for laptops. I have a very old laptop which tends to get hot faster. But Linux Mint runs slightly cooler and even the battery lasts a bit longer. Linux Mint 20.3 is powered by the Linux kernel 5.4. Now with this kernel update, AMD Radeon graphics performance has been enhanced significantly which also includes support for a range of upcoming AMD GPUs as well. Early support for Intel Tiger Lake Gen 12 graphics is included through Nuo open source drivers. Thermal management has also been tweaked to deliver better performance on Intel processors. For Nvidia, driver version 470 is the recommended one but version 495 is available and works flawlessly. This version has very good performance improvements in gaming. Linux Mint has always delivered a very good performance, thanks to its smooth and light desktop and performance-oriented X apps. 
This update brings in a boosted experience across a range of hardware. All in all, Linux Mint gets major points for performance. Dependability and stability are the prime reasons for Linux Mint's huge loyal user base. This version of Linux Mint will be supported till 2025 and all the updates are pushed only after extensive testing. And the update manager here is very informative and lets you choose what to update and what not to, although you don't need to bother about it at all. This is very non-intrusive and good for Linux newcomers, many of whom may scorn at the mere sight of update notifications. Linux Mint makes everything very easy. Apart from the interface being very intuitive and self-explanatory, there are small things here and there which contribute to a better usability. There is simplicity to Linux Mint. Things like the software store are made to look good, but not beyond the necessary level. Simplicity is not limited to the visual. Updates, backups, sending and receiving files, everything is as easy as it can get here. Linux Mint is designed ground up for your normal, everyday computer user. Two things, usability and stability are prioritized highly here. So Linux Mint is good for students and professionals alike. You can use this in homes, in your businesses and everywhere else without any doubt. Updating, installing software, getting around the system, everything is very simple here. Linux Mint uses software from Ubuntu repositories which are huge and contain a large number of software. You can get pretty much anything you want here. You can also install software from PPAs on Mint. PPAs are maintained by the software developers or trusted maintainers. Using these, you can install software which are not available in the official repositories and also new versions of software available in the repositories. Then we also get flat packs. With this, you can install latest versions of software and everything works flawlessly with these. The software manager is very organized and simple to use. Linux Mint is one of the top distros used by people who are new to Linux and this software manager is one of the beloved things about Mint. With Mint, you get best-in-class software availability. I'm currently playing Desperados 3 and I also played The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt on Linux Mint and it's amazing how far gaming on Linux has come. Slowly but steadily, we got here. Linux Mint is a fantastic system for gaming today. There are a ton of fantastic free games on the software store here. And with Steam, you get so many amazing AAA titles. Now, many top Windows exclusive titles like The Witcher 3, GTA 5, Doom, Cyberpunk 2077, Red Dead Redemption 2 are playable on Linux with Steam Play. Steam's Proton feature brings these Windows-only games to Linux. These titles can be installed from Steam with a single click and they run like they are Linux native. Linux kernel 5.4 which is used here also brings patches to ensure better and flawless gameplay for a number of 64-bit Windows games. It's a good time to be a Linux user. Installing Linux Mint is really easy. All the steps are easy to understand and beginner-friendly. The whole process takes around 15 minutes. After installation, a quick setup procedure lets you install media codecs, drivers, making a time shift backup, and few other things for quick launch. Again, this is very useful for new Linux users. Latest graphics drivers are pre-installed for AMD and Intel integrated cards. Nvidia drivers too are installed automatically most of the times. You can check and install them from additional drivers application. Overall, getting started with Linux Mint 20.3 is very quick and convenient. Linux Mint has a large user base. Millions of people around the globe use it as their daily driver. So the basics like installation guide, user and troubleshooting guide are written in a very beginner friendly way and available in multiple languages on the Linux Mint official website. There's also a forum on which a wide variety of topics are covered. This can be really useful if you have specific issues. Pretty much any help you need with Mint, pretty much any issue you face can be solved with a single Google search. Linux Mint scores top points for community support. I have mad love for Linux Mint. It's a straightforward operating system which stays true to what its core audience wants. The experience of using this system has stayed consistent even across major updates. Even when there have been massive technical updates under the hood, how you use Linux Mint has stayed very similar. 
In a world where GNOME 40 Arch Linux are bringing new things to the table, some people might want some consistency. The Linux world is always evolving and changing. Distros change their primary desktop environments. Suddenly you are seeing newer package managers in the software store. Your favorite Linux distro has picked up system for next release and you don't know what to feel about it and so on. But with Linux Mint, you won't have to suddenly relearn how to open the menu all because you just installed an update. With Linux Mint, it's not just about how the desktop looks, what new features it brings, how fast you get updates. Rather, it's about what kind of an experience you get out of it. It's about getting some work done on your computer without having to worry about your computer. That's Linux Mint. I hope you enjoy the fantastic Linux Mint 20.3. The download link is given in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, do consider hitting the subscribe button below. This is Linux Techs, see you in the next one.